Cards, The Final Frontier. These are the voyages of Mike's retro trading cards to boldly rip what no one else on YouTube has ripped before. Star Trek Master Series. But before we get to that, hit the music. Let's get right into it. Star Trek Master Series. I am so excited for this. And, you know, we've talked on the hub, or we've talked on the podcast several times about, you know, collect however you want to collect. It doesn't matter what other people are doing. Um, you just go out and you collect the way you want to collect. And this is the perfect example of that. This is a product that I absolutely loved when I was a, a teenager. This is the Star Trek Master Series. It is just like DC Master Series, Marvel Masterpieces. It is, uh, it's art. It's not uh, photos. Um, it was a little bit more expensive back in the day uh, than your normal, you know, Star Trek cards. Um, just like Marvel Masterpieces was more expensive than Marvel Universe. This was um, a little bit more of a pricey product. You got, I believe, two Spectre cards um, per box. This box was sealed, and it had the um, the little uh, sticker on it because there were only so many of these boxes made. Um, so I'm fairly confident these were not searched like the DC ones were. Um, but I thought it'd be a fun rip to do. These are really inexpensive right now. I think you can get them for, I think I got this one for like 20 bucks shipped, maybe 25 shipped. So let's get right into it. I suspect these are going to stick. I'm a little nervous about that. But with um, the card series in season two coming to, uh, coming to the end, and then they're already gearing up for season three, which is going to have a lot of the next generation cast in it. Um, I'm really excited. Yeah, these are going to stick. These are 36 packs. So we're going to go through these really quick. But, I mean, just look at the artwork. That is really cool. The Enterprise. All the Enterprises. They have character cards. Scenes from the, the different shows. And then these are the Andorians. Um, I'm actually watching Star Trek Discovery and the Andorians were a big part in the last few episodes I've been watching. Um, but they have character cards like that. It's 90 cards per, or 90 cards in the base set. So you should see six cards per pack. You should get close to three sets out of these, I think. Oh, these packs are going to be fun. You know, what I, what I plan on doing... Um, is ripping this one and putting together a couple of sets, keeping one for myself, and then um, selling the other two on eBay. The famous kiss, history is made. There's your checklist. Yeah, there's five Spectre cards. The Borg, so cool. Shut up, Wesley. It's, I've been going through my old collection. We're going to post some videos of that. Um, going through my old collection from my grandparents' house. And um, I was surprised I didn't find any of these. I found some of the other Star Trek cards from my collection. Um, speaking of Picard... And the Borg, where no one has gone before. Check off. The Undiscovered Country. Just really cool artwork in these. <clears throat> and that Enterprise in the background there is actually from the... Uh, um, it's from the first set of... Uh, next generation cards. 
Borg. There's Hulu. George Takai, very cool. Not too bad with the stickage. I know, you know, it's always been a big back and forth with, you know, it's Star Trek versus Star Wars. What are you a bigger fan of? You know, for for the ten, the tens of you that watch this video, you know, were you were you Star Trek guys, guys and gals, or were you uh, were you Star Wars? Guinan, she made her appearance on the latest uh, season of Picard, which was very cool. You know, I, I'm thinking about ripping a box of the Picard stuff from Rittenhouse. You know, you get autographs in there and things like that. That would be pretty cool. Uh, that's a cool card. You know, they're a little bit more expensive, but still not bad. I mean, you... I, I think I could get a box for like 80 bucks, maybe 85 shipped. And, uh, you know, you, I think it's one autograph per box. I've been trying to watch as much of your horror. Shut up, Wesley. I've been trying to watch um, as much of the new stuff that's been coming out as possible. I was behind on Discovery, and then I uh, borrowed, wink, wink, my friend's um, Paramount Plus passcode, and uh, I've been catching up on that. It's good. I mean, it's not. it's not as good. Beverly, she's coming back. Wrath of Khan, very cool. Colosians. From the original show, or the original first pilot. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed it, but hasn't been as good as The Next Generation. The Menace of Q. He is a menace to this day. I'm a doctor, damn it. Bones. That's pretty cool. You get all the different aliens. The art cards. But it's definitely a different... I, I, I don't know if they did this beyond... I should look into that. If they did this beyond... Um, uh, DC, Marvel, and, and Star Trek. Like, there's not a there's not a GI Joe Master Series or anything like that out there. So I'm wondering if they did. There's Deanna, Spock. Great scene from the Undiscovered Country. Oh, this is my favorite Star Trek movie. In case you're wondering, The Voyage Home. Very cool. think they did but it would have been cool if uh you know they did uh they did it for more sets do this artwork i am one of probably the few that are not a huge fan of the artwork in the first um set of marvel masterpieces i know it's kind of you know, sacrilege, but I actually prefer series two of that. And I, I think I actually prefer the DC master series two, Captain Kirk. I was watching Boston Legal with William Shatner last night, such a good show. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll probably rip this, make up the, uh, 
two sets. Oh, it should it should give me two sets at least. Um, oh, there's some doubles. Data. Riker. Haven't gotten a Spectre card yet. We're about a third of the way through. Um, I'll put one in a binder. I haven't decided how I want to work that out because my one binder, I'm thinking I might might be over full. Or he's coming back for Picard, which is very cool. The Vulcan Mind Meld, Evil Spock from the Mirror Universe. I don't think I could have afforded a box of these back in the day. Oh, there we go. Oh, these are so cool. Look at that. Romulan Warbird. That is such a cool card. I mean, cards like that hold up, you know? I don't care what you say. Cards like that hold up. John Luke in there. So you probably get one per side. And I'm a, a set completer, so I'll get the two that I pull and then I'll probably go online and try and find the other uh, the other three I need. Yeah, we're starting to get into the doubles. Pretty regular now. Another checklist. That's the one that always makes me nervous is a checklist. I have a, I have, for some reason, I opened up a lot. I mean, I really like the movie The Mummy Returns when it came out and I opened up a lot of Mummy Returns cards. And I had, had uh, I have three complete sets and I'm missing the checklist on one of them. So I'm like, do I go and buy the checklist for a buck or whatever it would cost me and then um, and then be able to sell that other set? Because they sell for like 15 bucks. I haven't listed them yet, but I think it be uh, might be a good investment. We'll see. It's a That's a fun movie. I know I'm going off on tangents. It's all non-sports card tangents, though. See, you can just skip right through this by tangents. Poor Mike has to edit this whole thing. He has to listen to my tangents. <clears throat> We're about halfway through here. If you like content like this, ripping stuff from the, the mid-90s, early 90s, Grading card reveals, all sorts of stuff like that. The podcast that we're doing, please hit that subscribe button. I don't think you're going to be seeing too many people, for better or worse, opening up Star Trek Master Series on YouTube. So. Trouble with triples. <laughs> I think um, they did a triples, like a little one shot short uh, show about uh, triples. And H. Uh, John Benjamin is the engineer or science officer or something. The guy who, who does Bob's Burgers voice and Archer and stuff. I have to watch that. There's another Picard. Might have to see if these are. SGC gradable. <laughs> That's one of the cards in my on my grail list, though. I would like to get a uh, a nice Patrick Stewart autograph. Um, I don't care wh when it's from. I've I've been such a fan of all of the um, all of the stuff that he's done 
in Star Trek that I could do uh, any of the movie cards or any of the you know, series cards that he autographed. Or even, uh, you know, if he was, uh, it was a card of him as Professor X, I could deal with that too. I can see here we are getting quite a few doubles and now triples, which is good. We want to try and get that third set. You know, the idea, if you spend, you know, 20 bucks on something like this, if you can keep a set for yourself and then sell off a couple of sets to kind of break even, that's the goal. You know, basically get a set of this for free. And when you do that, you know, you can keep buying stuff like this. Defending the whales. I love how Star Trek IV was kind of like an environmental, you know, yeah, teaching us to take care of the earth. And that was back in the 80s. And, uh, I don't know. I don't think we're... I don't know how we're doing on that front. <clears throat> Some of these cards are, you can see, bent up in the corner. I mean, again, it's a box that's been around for almost 20 years. I'm not gonna lie, I loved Impel that turned into Skybox or got bought out by Skybox as a company because they did all these cool non-sports cards. You know, if you wanted something non-sports, most likely it was done by Impel or Skybox. Sometimes Topps did some stuff. I think they had rights to like Star Wars. They had rights to the Batman movie. Hopefully, are going to get one more of the foil cards. We're down to our last handful of packs here. Again, thanks for sticking uh, through this. We'll see how many views this actually gets, but it was a fun rip for me. That's that's all I I know. <clears throat> really takes you back. You know, we were talking uh, on the pod we actually video today. You know our top three favorite things about the hobby and i will say one of my favorites is definitely the nostalgia you know just opening this stuff up just takes you back to you know a time when you were a kid <clears throat> and taking your allowance to the local card shop or the mall and, and trying to pick up a few packs there's spock mind melting with the whales Cracks me up. Okay, come on, we need one more. Oh, I think we got it. Oh, no, nope, I was wrong. <laughs> that card looked a little shiny. Three packs. the best absolutely okay here we go here it is oh wow look how neat that card is come on come on so cool right next to a little james tiberius kirk Well, at least we didn't get uh, <laughs> at least we didn't get a uh, search box. That's for sure. I was a little gun shy. I think they do this one in a um, 
a Spectre card, which would have been cool to get because it has the Enterprise, the uh, Enterprise D in it. But we'll have to go out and buy that one. Wrath of Khan. All right, last pack. Thanks for sticking with this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Those of you who actually watched this one, hope you really enjoyed it. I enjoyed filming it, that's for sure. Oh, and the last one does not want to be open. Holy mama. Oh, there we go. Lieutenant Orf. The Wormhole. Trouble with Tribbles. Mirror Spock. The Vulcan Mind Meld. And then the Catwoman. Still a better Catwoman than Halle Berry. All right, guys. Guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll catch you on the next one.